My name is Bree, and I'm so excited for today's Wiggle Wednesdays. We're going to focus on our hands. Let me see all of your hands today. Great. So nobody should be holding anything. If you're holding something, I want you to put it down because I need your hands to be free so that we can wiggle our fingers in our hands today. Hi. All right. So I'm going to stand the whole time. If you want to stand along with me, that might work best too. And my hands are going to be right in front of me. I want us to start by just feeling our hands, all of our fingers, our palms. Your hands are so strong and they can do so much for you. The human hand has 27 bones inside of it, which I think is a lot. But the bones are what help us bend our fingers in all of these cool ways. And it's because that we have these bones that we can bend our fingers that we can do amazing things like pick things up and open things, which so many other mammals and creatures can't do because they don't have thumbs and fingers like we do. So having hands is pretty special. We, most of us have two hands. Most of us have 10 fingers. So today I'm gonna to start by warming our hands up before we can do our really cool activities. First, I wanna begin with a song and we're gonna play the song and sing along and I want you to do all the movements along with me. So Catherine's gonna go ahead and start that. You. Open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep and crawl them, creep and crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. All right, that was just a short and sweet sign to get your fingers wiggling, but now I wanna do an energetic way to get your fingers wiggling. So we're gonna do what's called the shake up, shake down. You're gonna follow my lead, and we're gonna shake our right hand 10 times, then we'll shake our left hand 10 times, then we're gonna go down to nine, then down to eight, then down to seven, and we're gonna do it as fast as we can to get our wiggles up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. And zero. Whoa, you all were wiggling and shaking so fast. Way to go. I'm going to do some applause for you by putting your palms out to the side of your body and moving them back and forth. That is applause in sign language. Well done. Okay, so since we're already learning some American Sign Language, let's learn some more. I would like us to count together from zero to ten in American Sign Language. I'm gonna do this by only using one hand. So I'm gonna use just my right hand. I'm gonna put my left hand behind my back. You can do this also. Okay, so let's start from zero actually. We'll do zero to 10. Zero is made by taking all your fingers and putting them to your thumb, making like a zero shape. You got it. Now one is made by adding your pointer finger up just like you're holding up the number one. Two is made by adding your middle finger also, holding up two digits. Now three is a little tricky, so watch closely. You're gonna stick out your thumb. Yeah, there you go. Three is actually using your thumb and your two long digits. Now four is putting your thumb in Jesus. and all four long digits up. Five is all five digits. High five. You're five, you got it. Okay, now six can be tricky for some people. A lot of people think that they wanna add another finger, but no, you don't. 
For American Sign Language, you're gonna use just one hand. You're gonna take your thumb and hold down your pinky. Oh, wow. Kind of looks like oh. the number three, but in American Sign Language, this is the number six. You all got it. The number seven is a smooth transition. Watch my hand closely. You're gonna put your pinky back up and hold down your ring finger now. This is the number seven. I think my parents don't want me to do this for some reason. Well, we're gonna slide into the number eight. And the number eight is putting your ring finger up and putting down your middle finger. I see you all sliding over, nice work. And then number nine, you probably can guess is putting that finger up and putting down your pointer finger. Sliding it over, perfect, that's the number nine. 10 is a pretty fun one, I think. All your fingers in and your thumb out. Kind of like a thumbs up. That's the number 10 in American Sign Language. So look at that. You all just counted from zero to 10 using American Sign Language. Let's see if we can remember them all. Remember them quickly. Let's start at zero that? again. What was zero? What was zero? And then one. Two. Three was your thumb out. You got it. Four, all four digits. Five, stick your thumb out too. You remember six? Your pinky down. Then seven was moving over to your next finger down. Eight was moving over to that next finger down. Nine, holding down your first finger. Okay, I did that. Oh, so amazing. You all followed along perfectly. There's some applause for you. I want to show you something really cool. You all learned the number four in American Sign Language. Show it to me. I know you remember. What was the number four? Well, now that you know the number four, if you add a letter to it, you can say 4H. So we're gonna learn the letter H. This was the number four. And to transition into the letter H, you're gonna take your pointer finger and your middle finger together, turn your palm in, and then stick that to the side, pointing to the side. This is the letter H in American Sign Language. So now you have learned how to say four H. So cool. This is so hard. It can be a little hard in the beginning because most of us aren't used to communicating with our hands and our fingers. But the more that you practice, the better you'll be. So I'm glad that you're all practicing along with me. And Bri, we got I'm going to go I'm gonna go some more of my favorite signs and I want you to practice them with me. Some of them are simple signs to learn that you probably can use every day in communication with your family. Like how do you sign hello? Hmm. You're gonna take your hand, put it flat kind of up to your eyebrow and move it out, kind of like a salute to the, whoever you're talking to. So this in American Sign Language is me saying hello to you. Perfect. Another one that you will use every day, probably so many times a day is thank you. You can say thank you, sign thank you to someone by taking your hand and putting your fingertips right to your chin and then moving it out and down. This is how you can sign thank you to someone. Another really kind thing to sign to someone is please when you're asking for something. Please is also simple. You're gonna take your palm, your palm to your chest and rub it in a circle. Please. So let's go through those three again because we went really fast. We did hello. We did thank you. And we signed please. Okay, now I wanna do some really fun ones. I think they're fun because they're animals and I love animals. My favorite sign of an animal is this one. I'm gonna do it and you do it along with me. Do you know what animal this might be? You take your hands like claws, cross your arms. What animal does this look like? Or what animal do you think this could be? A butterfly. 
Lion, lion. 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 Oh, I heard someone say it. This is the American Sign Language sign for bear. This is bear. I like that one a lot. Here's another animal. Let's see if you know this one. You're going to take both fingers and pull out from your cheek. What sign is this? Um, uh, 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 I think I heard someone say it. Uh, uh, this is the American Sign Language sign for cat. It's like you're pulling out your whisker. This is cat. So I hear a lot of meowing. That's really good, too. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. See if you know it. You take one hand and you pat your hip or your thigh. What sign, what animal is this a sign for? I don't know. A um, uh, host. Host. Yeah. That is a sign for a dog. Sign for it's dog. like you're it's calling like a dog, dog over to you. Like you're saying, here, come here, boy. That's a sign for dog, dog. in American Sign Language. Dog. 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 Okay, let's do one more animal. You take your thumb to your forehead or your temple, two fingers up, and bend them down. What animal is this a sign for? Um, uh, bunny. Bunny. Rabbit. bunny. Rabbit. Great guess. It's not a bunny. It's not a rabbit. Any other guesses? Bunny. A bunny rabbit? Like a fox. This is actually the sign for horse in American Sign Language. I know, I know. I thought it was rabbit too, but it's a horse. Okay, so we learned what was cat. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I see all those whiskers. That was cat. What was bear in American Sign Language? You got your claws out. What was horse in American Sign Language? Kind of your horse, horsey ear. There you go. And then dog was calling the dog over to you by tapping your, your hip. All right. You all are doing so amazing. I think it's really cool in American Sign Language that some things look a lot like what they are. Like if I were to sign this, what word do you think this means? Baby. Yeah. Of course, because it looks exactly like I'm rocking a baby. You got it. So that shows you that some you American Sign Language is so simple to learn. Some of it looks exactly like the word you're trying to say. Like, how about this one? If I were to do this, what would this mean? Crying! Crying! Yeah, exactly. The, by taking your fingers and doing like tears falling, that represents crying in American Sign Language. Another super easy one. So I want to encourage all of you to continue practicing American Sign Language. Some of it can be really easy and quick to learn, and it's something you can do at home and with your family. Every day, if you learn just a few signs, by the end of the month, you'll know so much in American Sign Language. And I think that's pretty cool because you can communicate with your hands. Way cool. Oh, I see some people doing 4-H again. Cool, you remember. I want you to keep practicing, okay? Because it's really simple to learn. And I know you all have been amazing on this Zoom call doing it, wiggling with your hand. I wanna finish by just rem reminding you how important it is to take care of your hands because they do so much for you every day. You probably don't even think about all the things your hands do every single day. So I want you to remember to always wash them with soap and water for 20 seconds. And together, I think we should sing my favorite hand washing song. It's a pretty simple one, but it's easy to remember, which is why I like it. So you can do the actions with me, and once you learn the words, you can sing along with me. And it goes like this. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them both together, scrub them both together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. Let's do it again. Top. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Scrub them both together, scrub them both together. Now they're clean, now they're clean. Well done.
Thanks for joining today for Wiggle Wednesdays. We learned a little bit about our hands and how to communicate with our hands, which is so amazing, so important, and I want you to keep practicing. Thanks for joining today, and make sure you join next week for another one of the four H's where we will learn about health. Bye.